Hi everybody, welcome to another Train Direct video and this is my showcase for my Idic Beers 12x12 Terrain Competition. Um, we've all, it's all finished, um, so here we have the fully completed Elder Webway, complete with lights that work. Um, so yeah, it's changed dramatically. Um, sorry I haven't done many more update videos to this. Um, I just needed to get on with it and get it done. So it's now finished. So we'll get a bit of a closer look. And as you can see down here, um, where's my pointy stick? I have free-handed on all like the, the elder runes for the stones for stepping into the vortex to be transported and um, over see if we can do this right over here I need to spin this around a little bit over here we have a couple of the elder symbols and over here also we have another elder symbol and sitting on top of that we have a statue of a guardian uh, that was a bit too much there we go so we have the statue of a guardian standing on the plinth with the rune um, as you can see there's been heavy weathering done all over the actual ground to make it look like at some point in time there was an actual battle here um, so if we focus back out um, and as you can see all the I've added all inside here loads of weathering where dust and grime would gather um, obviously the central vortex is now finished and completed and over here you can see like blast markers where maybe a grenade or an explosion has gone off over to the back um, everything's pretty much symmetrical bar that one rock um, heavy weather in down here um, in areas that would fall and more weathering over into all these sorts of parts here if we can get a closer look just into here we have more weathering down here and weathering <laughs> and weathering down off of the stones and on the tops of the actual thing itself so that in a nutshell is basically the finished terrain piece and um, I'm really happy with the way that it's actually come out in overall and um, it was a little bit harder than I thought but I got there in the end so hopefully now I'll be doing a little recording in the dark with the full effect of the of the lights because the I'll show you it right now I'll do a bit of a jump cut and we'll come back and see the lights on in the daylight. So here we go, here's it with the actual lights on in its in the daylight. You can sort of tell that they're there, but it doesn't give off its full effect. So bear with me for two seconds while I turn off the lights. And one last light to go. So there, now you should have like pretty much the full effect of the actual lights um, all working. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way that all that's come out. The camera's actually picking, even picking up like the individual LEDs. Um, but I don't know if you can see it because of the actual um, LEDs. The way that this is, the camera's actually picking this up inside here on the screen I can see three three dots but inside here is I can actually pick up different sorts of shades so it's like kind of a it gives off a lot of light these are super bright LEDs and it's phenomenally bright and um, so I'm really happy with the actual state of the LEDs um, cause, um, it's 
I'm, I'm just really glad that they all worked. Um, so it's something that I will be looking to, to do in more terrain pieces in the future. So that's my showcase guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, so take care. And for everybody else that's entering, good luck. Happy Wargaming.